Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Right now at 10, a race to the finish. A look into national politics as midterms get closer and closer. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Emily Haugen. We'll begin with some developing news. XL Energy is reporting 1,000 customers without power in the Onalaska lacrosse area. That began earlier this evening. According to the outage map, it started at 8 and the site says that power is expected to be restored by about 11.15 tonight. And to politics now, election day is just over two weeks away and candidates across the country are making their case to voters. Control of the House and Senate hangs in the balance. Bradley Blackburn has more from the campaign trail. Coast to coast, it is a final push in tight midterm races. Senate races are neck and neck in several states, including Georgia, where Republican candidate Herschel Walker is holding on despite revelations about his past behavior. At the White House Friday, President Biden pushed back against polls that show some Democrats are losing momentum. The polls have been all over the place. I think uh, that we're going to see one more shift back to our side the closing days. The president has stayed away from the campaign trail in some states out of concern his unpopularity could hurt Democratic candidates. Great state of Texas. Saturday, former President Trump held a rally in South Texas, but he is staying away from some battlegrounds, too. In many places, Election Day is already here. In Nevada, where there's a tight Senate race, early voting began Saturday, and mail-in ballots were distributed last week. Nationwide, some 7 million Americans have already cast ballots and locked in their decisions. But the battle will go on until the last vote is cast. In Wisconsin, this team of Democratic canvassers is going house to house to re-elect Governor Tony Evers. Team Gold first started knocking doors in 2008, campaigning for Barack Obama. Our last shift for this period will end at 8 p.m. when the polls close on November 8th. We don't quit. A race to the finish with Election Day now just days away. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. At his rally in Texas, former President Trump rallied against the January 6th committee, but he did not say whether he will comply with the subpoena they sent him on Friday. So we had a line of thunderstorms push its way through the Cooley region. You can see here on the radar scan, we're going to go ahead and zoom in over towards portions of Eau Claire County. Uh, you can see just to the north and east of Eau Claire towards the Bloomer area seeing uh, some heavy thunderstorm activity. Other places I want to talk about, we'll go ahead and move the map farther south across portions of I-94. You can see Black River Falls seeing some rain towards the Westby area, seeing some uh, rain, even some thunderstorm activity as we speak. We'll go ahead and move the map over towards the, uh, let's say, over towards the DeForest area. There's Highway 51 uh, just to the north of Madison, seeing some heavy rain and some thunderstorm activity as well. So let's pull out and take a look here at the big picture. You can see over towards portions of Alamakee County, seeing some rain and thunderstorm activity as well. So here's the setup. We're on the leading edge of a low pressure system. So what's happening is because we're on the leading edge of that, the winds are staying out of the south, which is what kept us in the 70s for today. Matter of fact, we made it to 79 in La Crosse, 74 in Viroqua, 77 in Prairie du Chien. Now, Emily, coming up in the first alert forecast, I hope you enjoy the 70s. I hope you enjoy the sunshine because we are cooling off to pretty much where we should be for this time of year anyway, and we'll talk about that coming up in a few minutes. All right, sounds good. Thanks, good. Eric. You bet. A Holman woman was arrested after firing several rounds from a handgun at a Holman hotel yesterday evening. Officers were called to the Prairie Inn and Suites parking lot after learning of a disturbance. No one was injured. Officers arrested 40-year-old Chanda Vandeslunt of Holman at the scene. She admitted to firing the handgun and was booked into the La Crosse County Jail for first degree recklessly endangering safety. Operating a firearm while intoxicated and disorderly conduct. The City of La Crosse wants your help to make yard cleanup a breeze. Leaf collection in the City of La Crosse begins tomorrow and runs until November 18th. All you need to do is put leaves on the boulevard, but not into the street. Teams will be working across the city to collect all of those leaves. The teams also ask that you do not pile leaves around trees, poles, or parked cars. Leaf collection will not interfere with your garbage or recycling. 
eBay is removing Jeffrey Dahmer themed Halloween costumes from its online listings. Netflix's series titled Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story has sparked intense interest in the cannibal and serial killer. The popular Netflix series has been criticized for being insensitive to Dahmer's victims. eBay's policy states it does not allow, quote, listings that promote or glorify violence or violent acts, unquote. And we're just over a week away from Halloween and all kinds of events are well underway. Lacrosse families got to trunk or treat at the Harry J. Olson Senior Center this evening. Kids went from classic car to classic car for candy. Those cars mostly came from the Driftless Region Modified Car Group. Kids also got the chance to meet the Miss Midwest USA Ambassador from 2022. Jesse Liso says the trunk or treat is a little different. What makes our trunk and treat different is that we have awesome cars that are just tripped out, older vehicles, things like that. Liso says Trunk or Treat is a safer way for area kids to take part in Halloween fun. And helping foster kids one cup of lemonade at a time. Kaya Poff, an eight-year-old lacrosse kid, wanted to help foster kids. She did it, all with lemonade and an Amazon wish list. Kaya focused her efforts on helping black, Latino, and biracial children. It all started with a lemonade stand this summer and turned into a wish list with all kinds of gifts for kids. Kaya and her mom, Kate, are using it as an opportunity to spread positivity. Be kind to everyone around you so it will spread and hopefully make the world a better place. Some of the items she got for those kids included dolls, sleep caps, and books. She put it all together with the help of her mom, Kate. Kaya and her mom are planning to meet with a social worker later in the week to drop off those donations. And coming up on News 8 Now at 10, it was Thriller Night in La Crescent. Area dancers all dressed up as zombies brought the energy to downtown this evening. We'll take you to the dance that's been weeks in the making. That's up later. But first, a roadblock for those seeking student loan forgiveness. A legal challenge has put the federal program on hold. Why the Biden administration is still encouraging those eligible to apply. Up next. This is our community. And while the present moment may feel unpredictable, we are here to help you stay focused on the future. So stay safe, stay strong, and stay confident with Gillespie and Associates. Some things make you wonder, what the path? Like career politician Brad Path voting to raise our taxes after promising not to. Then praising another billion dollars in tax hikes on Wisconsin families. Seriously, what the path? Or when he supported trillions of dollars in big government spending, creating record inflation. What the path? Makes you wonder how anyone can trust career politician Brad Path. And RCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. It's time for Jolivet Family Farms Fall Harvest. There's no substitute for homegrown freshness. Stop by today for some of Jolivet's homegrown squash, kraut cabbage, popcorn, and cranberries. Take a tractor or horse-drawn wagon ride to the Great Pumpkin Patch and pick your own pumpkin every weekend in October. Large selection of fall decorations, including corn shocks, gourds, specialty pumpkins, and straw bales. Take home some pumpkin cheesecake bars, cookies, pies, or bread from our homemade bakery. Buy fresh, buy local. Open daily year-round. Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Retirement is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make, so you need to get it right. At Gillespie & Associates, we'll design a plan so you can retire on your terms. I'm Private Wealth Advisor Tim Gillespie, and I'm here to help. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. The Biden administration is encouraging people eligible for student loan debt relief to keep applying online despite a court-ordered temporary hold. Camila Bernal reports. It may take a little longer, but Cody Hunanian is still expecting a third of his student loan to be forgiven. It's a light at the end of the tunnel. He's referring to President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness program that would cover $10,000 of his student debt. Because while he's been out of college for nine years, he still owes $30,000. I recently married. Me and my wife are going to be thinking about purchasing a home. So it's 
all of a sudden kind of right in front of me again because I'm thinking about the kind of debt I have and I need to finance my future and get a home. But while the administration was expected to start granting loan discharges as early as Sunday, a federal appeals court put a temporary administrative hold on the program, a move being argued in and out of the courtroom. USC economics professor Robert Deagle says that while all his students support the program, he asked them to consider different perspectives. Relative to defense spending and the overall government budget, um, the annual cost is, is not huge. But it, there is, um, it's going to be a burden on current taxpayers. He also says if the goal is to help low-income families, the government should instead invest in, say, early childhood education. As an economist, Deagle says he thinks short-term loan forgiveness will only make inflation worse. But as a professor, he believes long-term this will make the U.S. more competitive. We need people with skills, and um, the way to get it is in higher education. And it's that education that Hunanian says got him to where he is today. Now the executive director of the Student Debt Crisis Center, a nonprofit focused on ending the student debt crisis. For me, the only way to open the door was to take on student loan debt, even though it's created really unnecessary challenges and you know we've had to be stressed and all of that. But my future is brighter nonetheless. Now he's not only waiting for his loan forgiveness, but also fighting so that others can also get the relief. My dream, my vision for a better America in the future is one where my kids don't even have to consider student loan debt. 22 million people have already provided the necessary information needed to review eligibility for student debt relief. And coming up on News 8 Now this weekend, an Iowa homeowner is making a point about abortion access with a Halloween display. A look at the display and why her neighbors aren't so happy. And in the world of weather, we have that line of thunderstorms push its way through the Cooley region now. The question is, how long will this crazy weather last and when will a cool down take place? I'll have the answers coming up in the first alert forecast on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Sick of running out of hot water? The professionals at Maxwell White are here to handle all of your water heater needs. Our licensed technicians can install, repair, or replace any type of water heater with same day or next day service. Call Maxwell White. Plumbing done right. Joe Biden took $4 trillion from us taxpayers and he spent it. $4 trillion. And what do we get? We got higher gas prices, higher groceries, just about everything. Brad Path, well, he backed Joe Biden 100% of the time. That's what you get when you spend your career in politics. Well, it ain't me. Let's try something different. Let's cut spending, balance the budget. Get America back on track. I'm Derek Van Orden and I approve this message. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's dairy land. As in real dairy. It gives Culver's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers? They're topped with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to delicious. <laughs> Here's our problem. Without the hearing aids in, she can't hear the low frequencies, so she doesn't hear me. I don't hear the high frequencies, so I don't hear her. It was a perfect setup, yeah. but we had to interrupt it. We had time, and we were coming down Main Street, and I turned in. It's not like you go into strangers. It's kind of family-ish to come here. You feel like you belong with them. I just think it's very comforting that they're a family business. Better Hearing Center on Alaska, next to St. Pat's Church. A new day has dawned on the all-new Maury's, Audi, and Volkswagen of La Crosse. Feel the luxury of Maury's Audi as soon as you enter the new state-of-the-art Audi dealership. Audi technology and style incorporated into Maury's La Crosse Audi sales and service. Maury's Volkswagen La Crosse features an upbeat, high-tech atmosphere. Having service done, enjoy our relaxing lounge as you wait. Come experience excellence at the new and improved Volkswagen of La Crosse. New building, new location, same friendly staff. Maury's Audi and Volkswagen of La Crosse. We at Maxwell White pride ourselves on delivering honest, dependable plumbing services. Whether it's a repair, installation, or any number of other needs, with our full-stocked warehouse and trucks, our licensed technicians are ready to serve you. So don't just choose anyone. Choose Maxwell White.
Fall Home Show going on now at the Board Store. Visit today and see what's new and get your $250 discount coupon. Register for prizes and visit with designers. Hope to see you soon. A new study shows that getting active in the morning is not the only way to lose weight. The study had 100 people work out five times a week at a lab until they burned around 600 calories. The end result was that it is all about consistency. Doctors recommend working out when it's best for you, and you don't need to change your routine to do it. The best time to work out or exercise would be the time that you're most consistent with it. So for many, right away in the morning is a great time because it's before their day gets started before any obstacles might come up. Doctors also recommend having plenty of water to drink to avoid dehydration during exercise. Bladder issues are becoming a common issue among women. One recent study shows that one in four women over the age of 20 have issues with their bladder. This is especially common for women who have had children and women over 40. While those problems can be more common as you age, issues can happen at any time. They are more common in people who are in their 40s, 50s, and older, but they can happen in younger people for various reasons. And so if you're experiencing that, I would encourage you to talk to your primary care provider about it. If you are experiencing bladder concerns, doctors recommend changing your diet, doing timed voiding and bladder holding techniques, pelvic floor exercises. In more serious cases, they also may recommend surgery. And an Iowa homeowner is using her Halloween display to make a point about abortion access. The front yard features some graphic images that have upset some of the neighbors. As Andrew Mollenbeck reports, the homeowner says the reproductive rights issue is very personal to her. The yard display is designed to catch attention and provoke a reaction. It takes an unfiltered approach to supporting women's reproductive rights. Julie Schwertley says she had the idea for it the moment Roe v. Wade was overturned by the Supreme Court. It's a big deal for me personally. I was 13 and an orphan, got pregnant by, of course, like a 20-year-old, and had to basically steal a friend's sister's car and drive three hours to Rockford, Illinois, from where we were at, to get an abortion. She says no one but close family even knew about her story until last year. And because a health condition limits the activism she would like to do, she's letting her yard speak for her. Now I have my own daughters and I wouldn't want them to be put in that situation. I also would have died twice probably from a miscarriage that didn't miscarry. The Beaverdale neighborhood includes a variety of political views and some take issue with this display for Halloween. This neighbor asked we not use his name. Not appropriate, that message on Halloween. You know, I, there's a time and place for everything, but what is meant for kids, a fun holiday, come on, some other platform or I, I just... I don't care for that. Shortly says the people she hears from directly support the display, but she's not shying away from her message. I'm mad and I want people to see it. The homeowner says she actually got more complaints last year when she had a display in favor of vaccines. Well, we had a beautiful Sunday today. Eric warned us yesterday that the heat wave isn't going to last, though. What can we expect, Eric? Uh, that's right. We had a gorgeous weekend for the most part, and then the rain and thunderstorm chances picked up uh, in the late afternoon, early evening hours. Take a look here at the laps over the past several hours. You can see how they just fired up uh, starting about 6 o'clock towards Winnesheek and Alamakee County. They have since pushed its way off towards the east and the northeast. We'll give you the grand tour as to what's going on over towards uh, just south and southwest of Ladysmith, seeing some thunderstorm activity over towards the Stanley area, seeing some as well. Eau Claire, you are now in the clear. Mauston seeing some thunderstorm activity as well, just to the east and northeast of La Crosse, seeing some rain and thunderstorms. Prairie to Sheen seeing some rain at this hour as well. So here's the setup. Let's go ahead and put up our toolbar and uh, we'll take a look here. Uh, at what's going on. Let's try this again. We have an area of low pressure that's in control off towards the west over towards uh, the Aberdeen area. Now we're on the leading edge of this. Now what this means for you and me is this right here. As long as we're on the leading edge of this, the winds are going to stay out of the south and that's what's going to keep those temperatures in the 70s again for tomorrow. We'll get on the back end of this as we go into your Tuesday. That's going to cause the winds to shift with highs going from the 70s to highs going back into the upper 40s, low 50s. Outside right now, 
We're still seeing a little bit of rain across the Cooley region. A few little flickers of lightning being picked up on the city cam at this hour. We're sitting at 70 uh, dew points at 59. We're at 68 degrees at the TV station. Winds are out of the south southeast at 17 miles per hour. Made it to 79 after a morning start of 60. The 60 on the low end for the most part is where we should be for the high end this time of year of 58. That 70 was just off the charts or the 79 I should say. 84 was the record high. That was set back in 1899. 1895 was the record low and that was 17 degrees. Now when you wake up in the morning, temperatures in the 60s from top to bottom will greet you mid 60s towards La Crosse as well as Sparta. Black River Falls will make it to 63, 64 Eau Claire, 66 Red Wing, 62 Rochester, 63 in Preston. We're going to keep the rain and thunderstorm chances in the forecast for Monday. We'll get a little bit of a break across the area in the morning and early afternoon hours. Some places won't see that break. Some places will. Now the rain becomes more garden variety as we go into Monday afternoon going into the evening hours and highs again. We're going to be in the upper 60s to low 70s. Now the details of the first alert forecast for the evening and overnight hours. There you go. 65 degrees scattered thunderstorms not out of the question. The wind will start to increase uh, out of the south at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Some places seeing gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. Tomorrow we'll start the day off with temperatures in the upper 60s. By noon we go to 72 and you can see that precip chance increase in the afternoon and early evening hours yet again. That takes us into the next eight days. After tomorrow we go back into the 50s. 54 for Tuesday, upper 50s for Wednesday and Thursday. Then we stay in the 50s and keep the rain chances in the forecast until we get into Sunday and Monday of next week. So the bottom line, Emily, I hope you enjoy the 70s. I hope you enjoy the sunny skies because now Mother Nature is coming back in saying, hey, no, it's still fall. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, Thanks, Eric. You bet. And now it's time to announce the chosen picture in our community photo for the week. This week's winner is Lori Bells of Winona with the shot of fall from the past. Every week we pick a photo to be shared in a gallery at our website at news8000.com and socially. If you would like to participate, just head to news8000.com, click on Submit Photos and Videos under the Home tab, and then click on Picturing Our Community and enter your photo. A new winner will be chosen every Friday, announced Sunday night, and then showcased online Monday morning. And coming up after the break, week seven of the NFL season. The Vikings had a bye, but the Green Bay Packers were playing in the nation's capital. Kate is in next with the highlights. News 8 Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or treatment for a complex condition, Mayo Clinic Health System has convenient and safe options for the care you and your family need. You didn't live this strong, this long, to get put on the shelf like a porcelain doll. But one out of two women over 50 will suffer a fracture from osteoporosis. You should know you can build new bone with Avenity for postmenopausal women with osteoporosis at high risk for fracture. Ask your doctor if you can do more than just slowing down bone loss with Avenity. Want stronger bones? Then build new bone. Avenity can help in just 12 months. Evenity is proven to reduce spine fracture risk by 73%. Evenity can increase risk of heart attack, stroke, or death from a cardiovascular problem. Do not take Evenity if you have low blood calcium or are allergic to it. Serious allergic reactions and low blood calcium have occurred. Tell your doctor about jawbone problems as they have been reported with Avenity, or about pain in your hip, groin, or thigh as unusual thigh bone fractures have occurred. Don't let a break put you on a shelf. Talk to your doctor about building new bone with Avenity. I'm gonna get you! Stop chasing your sister! Making things better is kind of your thing. But when Medicare has you stumped, it's hard to know how to make it better. Maybe I can help. Security Health Plan. Medicare coverage you want, value you need, service you love. College is great, but it's not the best path for everyone. Careers in the skilled trades are good paying jobs that are badly needed. That's why I expanded skills training and I signed a bipartisan law to connect students and their parents to more information on apprenticeships in high demand fields. Folks, our high school students need to know all their options when it comes to their future. It's the right thing to do for our kids and for our economy. 
News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Kate Overton. I'm sure most of you already know, but earlier today, the Green Bay Packers lost their third straight game and fell to three and four on the season. They were on the road in D.C. against a commander's team that they should have beat. The offense looks lost. It almost seems like they have no real game plan. And in case you didn't see the game, let me show you. First drive, they looked good. It looked like they had a game plan with a quick pass here to Alan Lazard as he gets inside the five and then a well-designed pass play here to Aaron Jones, who's going to fight his way in for the score to give the pack a 7-0 lead. Later in the quarter, another Green Bay special teams miscue. Command Commanders punting it away. Amari Rogers set to return it and that goes right through his hands. Washington recovers it and takes over inside the 20. Packers defense held them to a field goal but the next drive Packers facing a third and 13 and Rodgers with a bad throw to Jones and he doesn't get the first down and the Packers forced to punt. Next drive Packers looking for a stop and they're going to get one in more. Devondre Campbell just jumps the route and takes the ball away and once he got up to speed nobody was going to stop him. A pick six for Green Bay and they take the 14 to three lead. Washington would respond with a long drive capped off by a Taylor Heineke touchdown pass to Antonio Gibson and then later another third and long for Green Bay. They try that swing pass again, but Jones can't catch it and Packers would go into half with a four point lead. Start of the second half and Washington is going to take a shot to the end zone. Heineke finding Terry McLaurin for the 37 yard touchdown pass. Jair Alexander got beat. Now the Packers are down three. Green Bay needing an answer. Third down again. Rodgers finds Romeo Dobbs, but he can't hold on to the ball and Green Bay forced to punt again. Packers now trail by six, facing a fourth and one. Rodgers has Dobbs again, but he can't hold on, and it's turnovers on downs. Washington would end up with another field goal, but that makes it a two-score game with seven minutes left. Green Bay on the 21. Rodgers dropping back, can't find anyone until he has Aaron Jones running up the sideline, and he hits him for the touchdown. Green Bay now down two. Packers still with a chance. They just need a stop, but Heineke throws it up, and Terry McLaurin is going to go up and get it for the first down. The Packers had a desperation play at the end, but Rodgers is going to throw it out of bounds here, and they come up just short. Green Bay was 0 for 6 on third downs. First time they didn't have any third down conversion since 1999. They also had just 12 rushes, their lowest amount in a game this season. And another big problem this game was the dropped passes, a few of which were costly. I think it, it takes everybody. It takes everybody around them. You know, you, you got to have the protection in front of you to be able to hold up. You got to have the guys making plays too. I feel like we had a ton of drops. We had a lot of penalties. It put us back behind the sticks. And it was it, those are tough situations to climb out of. Well, Green Bay was penalized nine times for 69 yards. They had multiple drop passes and Aaron Rodgers missed a few wide open receivers as well, all of which added up for a bad day of offense. It's been an extremely disappointing start to the season for the team, but there are still 10 games left in the season. Now, a bye week would be really nice, but they don't have that until week 14. Instead, they've got to travel to Buffalo to take on one of the top teams in the league, the Bills. We'll have more on that matchup later this week. And real fast, we'll end with the Timberwolves coming into today. They're one and one, but it's just a, so much fun to watch Anthony Edwards, and he was on tonight. First half, D'Angelo Russell finding Edwards and Edwards going to pump fake and drive and finish with the Euro step into the reverse layup. First half winding down and Edwards isn't afraid to pull up and he drains it. T-Wolves go into half with a nine point lead. Second half more of the same. Edwards working. No man. Man down. Ant gets back behind the line and that one's good. Edwards would finish with 30 points for the second straight night as Minnesota gets the win 116 to 106. That's all I got for sports. We'll be right back. In the Senate, Ron Johnson pushed tax loopholes benefiting himself and his donors. Did my business benefit? Sure. Did some of my donor businesses? Sure. But here's what Johnson's doing to us. He voted to raise the retirement age and allow cuts to Social Security, even supports letting Wisconsin ban nearly all abortions and said, if you don't like it, you can move. Ron Johnson works for himself, never us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers 
and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want and the capability you need to do the job so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get a $500 cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine when you purchase. Plus, current Chevy owners can get an additional $2,500 loyalty cash. And now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance. Start a new Chevy truck with accessories. When I started working at Michaels Corporation, Tim was nine years old. Tim worked in the trenches for many years when he first started out in this company. 51 years. 12 years. 20 years. 50 years. Took a small Wisconsin company to one of the best in America. Tim is really hardworking. Very good leader. And he's going to tell you like it is. Because of Tim Michaels, there are thousands of good paying jobs in Wisconsin. Jobs that people are proud of. I wouldn't hesitate for one second to jump in a foxhole with Tim. Hi, I'm Andrew with Dahl Honda, and we're proud sponsors of WKBT's Top Notch Teacher Program. It's always a huge highlight of our month to provide the use of a Honda Civic to that month's Top Notch Teacher. We hope this communicates how much Dahl Honda values the great work all teachers do for our children and community, especially during these challenging times. If you know a teacher who deserves Top Notch Teacher recognition, please nominate them. Go to news8000.com and click on the More tab. It was Thriller Night for a group of La Crescent dancers. Dancers of all experience levels and backgrounds got a special chance to dress up as zombies while dancing to a classic 80s tune, Thriller by Michael Jackson. After weeks of practice, the La Crescent community got a chance to enjoy their performance this evening. According to organizer Megan Waddle, it's all about having fun and sharing an art. The arts and the positivity that it brings and how it uplifts people and encourages children, especially, you know, our future, um, to just be bold and daring and brave and, you know, do this with me. So. This was the fourth year and Waddell says the energy of the performers was contagious. There were 42 dancing zombies this year and she says this was the biggest crowd yet. We'll be right back. Dear Night Owls, when darkness falls, our stunning style takes flight and our fuel economy is ever so wise. Trust us. Toyota Sedans. Toyota, let's go places. When I heard from my doctor, it was my worst nightmare. My baby's diagnosis was dismal, a severe abnormality, and my husband and I decided to have an abortion so our daughter wouldn't suffer. Tim Michaels thinks that decision should have been his, not ours. He wants to criminalize abortion, and if he's elected, women will lose the freedom to decide what's best for them. Tim Michaels is just way too radical for Wisconsin. Transportation, food supply, everything is going carbon free. At Excel Energy, we see it too. Eco-friendly car washes, carbon free search engines, and all that clean energy needs clean energy. The same reliable, more affordable energy that powers your home. This is how the future is made. Oh, it's cold in here. I bet Mom and Dad didn't get a maintenance check on the furnace this year. And it broke. I bet. That's it. I'm calling GNT. We are GNT Heating and Air Conditioning, and we are experts at fixing your furnace. We have been in business for over 15 years and have the best service techs in the area and friendly too. Thanks, GNT, for your quick, fast, friendly service. Please send Mom and Dad the bill. Again, for the best seating and air conditioning, guaranteed. Breaking news in Dallas, Texas, where at least five police officers were killed when they were ambushed. This was the deadliest day for U.S. law enforcement since 9-11. Just days after this horrific crime, Mandela Barnes appeared on Vladimir Putin's propaganda news outlet and rationalized violence against American police officers. Police officers are over-exercising their badness. This probably was a retaliatory attack. Do you want Mandela Barnes representing you in the Senate? I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Dear Night Owls, when darkness falls, our stunning style takes flight, 
And our fuel economy is ever so wise. Trust us. Toyota Sedans. Toyota. Let's go places. Here's a look at the 8 day and I hope you enjoy the 70s. We have one more day of 70s tomorrow. Then that front pushes through starting Tuesday for Halloween. Monday the 31st. 59 degrees right now with partly cloudy skies. So yeah. That's very ideal for the trick-or-treaters. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching News 8 Now. We hope to see you right back here tomorrow night.